Brought to you on back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. Okay, for the new listeners, those of you who want to listen from day one, you don't get it on Apple Podcasts or iTunes unless you subscribe. I don't even know if that's true. I just want you to subscribe. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go over to Spotify, type in I'm quitting alcohol, David Boyle, and you can start from day one there. Otherwise, just use like Stitcher or Laughable or Overcast or some of these other fucking things and you can get it there. All right, that's me done for tonight. I've, uh, I've got fuck all else to say. Fuck, that was good comedy. That is Comedy 101. That's the equivalent of stand-up going on stage, saying something shit and going, thanks for having me, and he gets a huge laugh, which gives him the confidence to write a couple of jokes. Then he ends up on TV, but he knows he's a fucking fraud, so he's miserable anyway. That's not even true, by the way. Most of the fucking hack comedians that end up on TV that I've done gigs with are very fucking happy. Very happy with themselves, that's for fucking sure. I'm doing some live stream stand-up comedy on Saturday. That is going to be fucking interesting. So here's the setup. It's at a studio. There's a normal stage. There's microphone, mic stand and everything. It's the same stand-up setup as you normally have at a gig. But instead of a crowd, you've got three 60-inch television screens in front of you set up with 50 squares for audience members. So 50 people's fucking stupid heads are going to be looking at you. I don't even know who the fuck those 50 are going to be. It's probably going to be like 27 incels, 21 stay-at-home mums, and a couple of autistic guys just jerking off under their desk. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm not doing my fucking material. I can tell you that right now. I'll probably just do that joke from earlier, say something shit, and then go, thanks for having me. Uh, Get a huge laugh. Probably throw out a couple of jokes like, oh, you two together, and they can't see each other on the screen. Classic stuff, you know. It's easier than writing material. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to do that. I don't even like fucking WhatsApp video. I don't even like FaceTiming with friends. Now I've got to stand there and make some idiots laugh while they're in the kitchen preparing their fucking meagerang. They're paying for tickets too. There's like 40 comedians on the lineup. Hey guys, yeah. Fucking, um, has anyone... Mention coronavirus yet? Yeah, oh, everyone, cool. Um, then I get distracted. I'm like, oh, what kind of cat's that? No, you on video on fucking screen 22. What kind of cat's that? I fucking hate cats. No, fuck cats. And then immediately you just see 10 screens go black. I'm like, did these cunts just walk out? Did these fucks just... I can't even yell at them. They've just gone fucking blank. And then two more go blank. I'm like, fuck you. I hope you get coronavirus and fucking just start going nuts. That will be my aim. Just to fucking black out those screens. What do you do? I'm talking to you. The autistic kid, screen 17. What do you do for work? Oh, you're not autistic. Well, you fucking look like black. So I'm glad you could log in and come see the show tonight. Especially you in the corner there. The single the single mum with three kids. You don't have any kids. Boy. Hoof. 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 <laughs> Hoof. Black. That's really not that far from what actually might happen because generally when I do go to a gig unprepared and it starts going bad, instead of accepting the blame myself, and acknowledging my flaws and my laziness, I usually turn on the crowd and start calling them cunts. This is going to be the future of stand-up comedy, by the way. I don't know if I like it. All the fucking magic will be sucked out of it. They're not going to let you cram a couple of hundred people into live venues anymore. Not for at least another fucking two years. Because they're going to start letting people back out in a few weeks. And they'll give us enough time to stretch your legs, get a little bit of fucking in, drinking in, fight a little bit, have a big party, and then someone will cough and we'll be back in isolation. And then stand-up will just be autistic comedians performing to 
autistic people on their screens. I just watched a little bit of live stream comedy. This American comedian I really like. New York guy. He live streamed a stand-up set from his bed. I'm like, yeah, the magic isn't there. With his fucking quilt pulled up into his armpits. It's like, I don't know about that. Is stand-up worth doing if you're doing it from your bed in your underwear? You don't even need to wear underwear. So that's Saturday night. It would be good just to fucking hang out with some comics again. And they're staggering the arrivals as well. So you're only allowed like four or five in the building at one time. You got to do what you got to do, I suppose. Live streaming comedy. Yeah. Alrighty, that's it for me tonight. Send me in a fucked up Friday story, one of you. If you've listened to more than fucking four episodes and you're in isolation doing fuck all, send me a fucking story. Also, subscribe to the podcast and add me on social media and I'll see you the fuck later.